Size does matter. That's what she said. Wait. What up all you fish tank ninjas? It's me, Infamous Aquatics, and I'm here presenting episode one, or part one, of Easy Reefing, a series I created in order to simplify the reef keeping hobby and not making it look so difficult, allowing everyone that wants to try it to try it and be confident about it. Today, we're going to go over tank size. We're going to start right at the beginning, and I'm going to let you know what I suggest a new reefer should get for their first saltwater aquarium. Now, the two most important things are consistency and patience when you practice this hobby, or when you participate in this hobby. And to tie into consistency, tank size. I'm going to explain why you should get the biggest tank possible for your home for your first saltwater aquarium and why a smaller tank is going to be more difficult. Now, this is not something you more experienced aquarium hobbyists are new to. We understand this, but for you new individuals, allow me to explain. Think of it like this, and this is how I explain it to all my friends that come over and wonder, why do you have a 90 gallon tank? Why do you have a 240 gallon tank? Well, let me tell you why. The reason is this, imagine you had three gallons uh, three buckets, three fish tanks, three whatever you want. Imagine one is a one gallon, the other is a five gallon, and the third is a ten gallon. All right, now imagine you put your hand, arm, basketball, allow your kid to swim in each one of these tanks. All right, think of the percentage of water that's being displaced. Okay, now when you look at the smaller tank, the percentage of water is going to be way more than it is going to be in the largest, in the 10 gallon bucket. All right, this example shows you that even something small going wrong in the larger aquarium is gonna cause much more damage in the smaller aquarium. All right, that is why I suggest you get the biggest one you can. That doesn't mean get a 240 gallon monster of a tank. The reason why I'm using the 90 gallons because that 240 gallon is too expensive. Now, I suggest that you get a 75 to 110, 125 gallon reef tank for your first one. All right, that's just to make it as consistent as possible. The more water volume you have, the better. Now, get the biggest one you can afford. All right, if you can get, the biggest thing you can get is a 40 gallon, get a 40 gallon, a 30 gallon, get a 30 gallon. What I'm simply saying is, get the biggest tank you can afford for your first reef tank. All right, don't pay attention too much on getting all your equipment right away because the second thing you need to practice in this hobby is patience. The second thing is patience. So be patient. Understand that it's going to take a month or two before you actually even get fish into this tank. So that's it for part one of Easy Reefing. Guys, part two, we're going to go over all the different kinds of rock you can put into your system and what I choose for mine. Make sure to hit that like button if you like what you're seeing. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you agree or disagree with what I'm saying. And don't forget to subscribe because I got videos coming at you two times a week. That includes this 90 gallon build and my 240. Also, I just really want to teach you how to start a reef tank. And I hope you guys want to learn. Now, don't forget to do amazing things like Teach a chimpanzee how to take care of a puppy so chimpanzees can start adopting puppies because lots of puppies need to get adopted. Alright, check out the fish tank hooligans and don't forget to tank like a boss because you're a boss. Huh?